Okay, day two, the gang's all here. Turns out not only can I go from sleeping two to seating four, I can go to seating five. Looks pretty good. So I guess we're, eh, we're going up there somewhere. We'll leave it at that for now. It's like an old windmill tower. Oops. on the side of that hill. That looks like a worthy target. Well, there's the Karen, but uh, they're way the heck down there. Not very like Bob to pass up a free summit like this. Yeah, you can always tell them while we were up there. That looks like a piece of people okay out there, maybe not at all. Yeah. I guess, but there's actually look there's like There's the three stooges. Doesn't look like too bad of a drop. I always wondered what it would be like to hike around on a mountainside filled with this stuff. The answer? Watch your step. And don't fall over. This is where we were going. I guess this is the bombing range in here. <laughs> I guess that, that's a less, uh, like a message to the Choya. Yeah. Yeah, You'd think it had been windy or something. There's just choya and all the little nooks and crannies. And it all goes down in the gully. This is not on. I think this is the gully Carl and I came up. Bushwhacking through teddy bear. Not fun. And the summit's just up there. This looks like fun. I guess if I climbed a little higher out of the gully, I would have reached this. Too bad. Mm-hmm. See, I was just right down there. I could have come right up here and joined this route. Nice and steppy. Just got to watch out for that little barrel cactus in there. Yeah. See that smoke there? Just heard a big boom. Guess they are still bombing here. Okay, now they passed over the cat. 
as they're calling it, I guess. Cars down there. adventure so this is Black Mountain home to many many antenna towers some of them very big I guess that's the height So this one up here. Well, we conquered some more interesting obstacles with the car, but we think it met its match. Bob told me to back up. This is going to be body damage, so we're parking and we're walking. Well, it might be a good thing we stopped when we did. This does not look much better. Well, maybe this would work. Oh, I bet I could have done this. Oh, well. Okay, bye-bye road. Guess I'm going that way. Nice little climb out. Looks like Carl may have found an easier way. Bit of a steep drop into this wash over there, too. I was getting a little worried about our connection, but it looks pretty good. And up. Should be almost there. Hopefully that's it. Just a couple little drop downs to go. Teddy bears again. Okay. And over here, we have the acupuncture office. <laughs> Yuck! Okay, here's Quartz Peak. You can see what looks like the Colorado River from here. That was when I was crossing the outlets down south. Eventually. It's kind of out that way. And apparently we've got Little Pikachu Peak and regular Pikachu Peak. That's the big one right there. I'm just communing at 2 a.m. naked in the water with my head up. Hanging out, discussing all kinds of things. We were just over there where all those radio towers are. That was Black Mountain. Yes, another black mountain. I think our camp spot is somewhere over there. I think I see the cars.
looks like the cars. should be right over there somewhere. Well, I'm not sure where they went exactly now. They were coming down over here. And that can't, that looked to me to be going the wrong direction. So I got up on this ridge and then worked my way down. Because the car is over here somewhere. And this looked like a very nice bridge to go down. So they, they may end up over here in the right direction anyway, but I think they'll be a little longer. Carl is. Oh, there he is. He's way over there. Okay. And they're back in the chasm. Looks like Carl's on a freeway. making very good time. I thought those chasms on Falls Ridge were annoying. Desert is much worse. Especially because a lot of these rocks are loose and slippery. Not to mention he's around. This is looking a little better. Oh, I see the car. On my own again there wandering through other canyons. But Bob knows what the car is. There he is. I want to make a beeline. Well, Carl and I found the road. Yeah, they're still over there a little ways. Run, Forrest, run! Why? Who knows? Guess he wants to claim the stage win. And we have some competition. Oh no, another chasm! Oh, looks like it's not gonna cause him too much trouble. Who's it gonna be? Uh-oh, he passed him. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Or in today's case, tri-tip dinner. <laughs> oh, oh, it says we're back. It's at... Oh, guy out. I think you're uh, familiar with the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I win! Oh. <laughs> Alright, last one. 
some kind of buzzard peak, half a mile away. Yeah, pretty good so far. It's almost here. So we're approaching this head wall. Just one straggler coming up. Not too far behind. So border patrol checkpoint over there we just went through. He gave us a little advice on how to get up here. So that's our last two over there, quartz and black. Black, I double summoned because I left the spot up there. Genius. The sun is about to duck behind some clouds or smoke, maybe. Time to just chill. There's black. Power symmetry between them and people, and people don't know when they're right. It bothers me. And that one's quartz. Because like that guy, you know, who knows? You know, like he doesn't like he's probably just talking to guy. You know, you should have said, Hey, world. you're Asian, man. What are you doing out here? You're, aren't you supposed to be a doctor or an engineer or something? <laughs> yeah, something racist so that the other guy throttles up. Fact. I'm here merely as an American there citizen. There go the toy haulers. <laughs> yeah. Out to the desert on a Friday evening. Yeah. Here. Are we ready to go down? Because that sun is. I am. <coughs> Been ready. Is that smoke, you think? So, this is where we slept last night. We went one way this morning and went the other way after that. That's Highway 78 over there. And that's what we just climbed way over there. So, showering, packing up, and then we're off towards Yuma.